Hi, this is Miko, BMW of San Francisco. I got the one of our first cars with actual uh, Apple CarPlay installed in a new BMW. This is uh, happens to be 2017 BMW X5, and this has the iDrive 5, and this was the first um, opportunity I had to actually play with the car, play with the Apple CarPlay, and see what it is. So I'll show you what the steps you go through and what it looks like and what you actually can do with pluses and minuses. So on the um, on the system we go to my vehicle, I drive settings and mobile devices and we gonna to connect I just tried my phone but I'm gonna use the phone of my uh, camera guy and we're just gonna connect the phone, confirm and now we go on the phone same as you connect Bluetooth so I'm not even doing Bluetooth uh, I'm just uh, gonna do it with the uh, straight with the Apple CarPlay so I'm waiting for the car to come up you see BMW 51549 same on the phone select it uh, this is the same procedure as you go with go through to connect Bluetooth so there's no difference here uh, the phone is asking me allow contacts to uh, sync I'm gonna say allow I'm gonna say okay on the phone on the car and it should ask me about CarPlay here as well it did ask me on my phone so uh, it shouldn't be the same thing okay use CarPlay with BMW turn on Wi-Fi and use CarPlay and we're just waiting for the system to connect you can see in live how long it takes to connect first time I'm guessing once you connect it once then it will be faster right now it takes a few seconds and that's it so now okay so we need to this phone the series not enabled so we need to do that and uh, see if I can remember it quickly Siri Siri active enable done okay so that that was pretty fast now we can put the phone down and concentrate on this so this is the CarPlay display I'm sure you've seen commercials that exactly that's exactly what it looks like and uh, uh, the first screen gives you phone, music, maps, messages, BMW, podcast, audio, audiobooks, and then you can move to the second screen. And there you go. So a few more applications that you have on the phone will transfer. Uh, for example, Pandora works. I tried it on my phone. Um, not all apps work, but if the app is compatible with Apple CarPlay, it's going to show up there. So I'm just going to go through this system quickly and show you what you can do. So uh, the biggest thing, which could be plus or minus, uh, pretty much everything has to be done with voice. It's not going to let you read or type messages. It doesn't let you scroll through a phone book. Basically, you have, <coughs> you have to use Siri for most of this stuff. And I'll show you what we're doing. So if we go to the phone. Who are we calling? Call Miko. Which one? Miko Silver or Nico? Miko Silver. Calling Miko Silver. Alright, so I'm going to hang up because my phone is right now is using to film it and it's not going to go through. But now we have this display, recent calls, contacts. Uh, so obviously you can go through all your contacts, so you can still do that. You can actually type, um, you know, dial a phone number. And again, uh, if a car has touchscreen, like a 7 Series has a touchscreen, I'm sure you can use that. Uh, most BMWs do not have touchscreen, so you just use the, I use the controller, the iDrive controller to do that. Uh, the back button is pretty useful, it just takes me back to the main screen. And let's try the music now. So, uh, probably connecting to Apple Music. It might be that this iPhone just doesn't have it, so I'm gonna guess that. Uh, the radio, the basically iMusic radio is working fine. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. My music artist, okay, so it did connect fine. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, everything's working. We're just gonna select something randomly and put it to play and that's it so um, place you can go through playlist go through the radio which is an add-on uh, regular iTunes when you connect it through regular iDrive I was not able to get the radio and full I, uh, iMusic this one looks like you can get everything so I'm just gonna try to move backwards and uh, what else do I want to see for you so it looks like I cannot search through um, through music uh, iMusic and looks like this phone does not have the iMusic account um, obviously you probably can use go through suggestions with the iMusic but this one doesn't have it 
So let's move on and go through the next display. Maps. All right, so um, th this is my, my problem with this system. You can get uh, Apple CarPlay right now only with cars with navigation. Why would I use navigation? Why would I use Apple Maps when I have BMW navigation? I don't know. So to me, I mean, I, I understand it comes with Apple CarPlay, but I just don't see the value unless you like, really like Apple Maps, which uh, from the history of Apple Car Maps, it's, it never happened. But uh, it, it is working. The, the maps are working. Let me just go back to it again. And I'm just trying to pull the menu. There we go. So the menu is on top. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can change the view, make it 3D. And then you can actually search through uh, Apple Maps. And then you can... Um, this one, it, it's not going to make you type, it just basically activates Siri, so you can give it an address or search for some kind of business. So basically Siri with Apple Maps, and that's all you get here. And I'm going to move back. Alright, messages. So this is really cool, this is something BMW doesn't offer, so this is really nice. Uh, it has access to your messages. And another thing Would that's you like nice... Would to hear your unread messages or create a new one? Create a new one. To whom should I send your message? Miko Silver. What do you want to say to Miko Silver? So I'm going to cancel it for now, and here I can uh, pull the messages. Um, again, what's what cool with this... What's cool with this is that the system would not let you read or type. It's only going to let you listen or dictate a message, which I think is a great thing for safety. Um, I, I hope it'll make people not use their phones while they're driving, so it'll be a great safety advantage. So that's a great thing with this, uh, with this system. Uh, now playing, just we'll go back to music and we'll just show what's playing. BMW, this screen just takes you to the iDrive screen. It just takes you back to where you were. And what I found is that this is the normal iDrive menu, and if I just scroll all the way to the left, it goes back to the Apple CarPlay thing. So that's that's kind of neat. You can just have your Apple CarPlay. We can go to BMW system. So that was pretty good. Podcasts. Uh, so again, on this phone, I guess never used for podcasts, but I tried it with my phone. I do listen to podcasts. It just pulls all your podcasts, everything you saved, your favorites, and so on. So it's really, really easy to find. Uh, same was with audiobooks. It pulled my audiobooks. Uh, this is basically the audio um, audiobooks uh, uh, system from uh, Apple. Same thing as you have on your phone. Uh, this phone, uh, our uh, Jack is a baseball guy, so obviously has MLB.com. I don't know what it does. I'm just going to pull it right now and see if I can see something. So, so there you go. Whatever that is, it uh, tells you something about baseball. Schedule, I guess. Oh, no, it's actually going to play you the game. So that's the radio. That's the baseball radio. I'm trying to get it to work. I don't know what, what it's doing or not. If there's an actual game to play, I'm not sure. But it is there. On my phone, I tried Pandora instead of that thing. I had Pandora. It worked fine. It pulled my Pandora. Uh, but again, it's not much different from what I can use with uh, BMW Connected. Um, so again, just, just go back through the whole thing. Let me just go back to the Apple. Okay, so this will, again will be your next screen. The main advantage that I see is the messages. The texting is a great advantage to stay connected while you drive. Uh, the rest of it, it's pretty redundant. iMusic might be good. Uh, beyond that, if you do have navigation, it, it's a $300 option. I think for $300, when you order in a car that's a $60,000 car, you should just get it. Uh, because hopefully there will be new apps that are compatible, you know, easier to use. But I don't think this is something I would really need to have on my car because I can do pretty much everything. And uh, on top of it, uh, let's say text messaging, I can still use Siri without Apple CarPlay. All cars uh, with the updated iDrive 4 and up, uh, you do have access to Siri. So I'm just going to show quickly how you do that. I'm going to get out of the beam to go back to just basically get out of the Apple CarPlay. And with the voice command, when I push and hold it, cancel. It just goes to Siri. So I'm just going to cancel it for now. But uh, 
again, even if you don't have Apple, Apple CarPlay, you can use Siri with your Apple um, iPhone, and um, you can do pretty much everything else is there. So thank you for BMW and Apple finally working together and giving us this option. If somebody wants it, somebody sees the value, great. Again, if I were just ordering cars for the dealership, I'd probably just order it in every car if it's available. Um, but if there's a car without it, I would not rule it out just because it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. Thanks for watching.